So good. All right, so I was going to do Brindisi, but that's not going to be a thing because I don't own one. I'll do Buffalo for a game. Mm. Thank you, Shecky. I need to play uh, Zara, so there you go. Uh, decisions, decisions. So, Chaser. No, I haven't point, taken my Marco Polo out for a while. Let's do it. Oh. So, Chaser, to your point, I was having this conversation with Sone and Seven the other day. Bust that one. The, the Royal Navy Destroy, like the Royal Navy depth charges are really good. But here's the struggle with the Royal Navy Destroyers. The submerged, submerged submarines are faster than them. Think about that for a minute. Think about the stupidity of what I just said. A submerged submarine can outrun a Royal Navy Destroyer. That is... The fact that the game mechanics allow for that is dumb. All right, you ready? Swing. All right, here we go. Actually, wait a minute. I probably should have taken defensive fire. Hold on. Let me go back and put that on. At the yeah. Same time, like yeah, yeah, because because the submarines have that stupid tier four skill that's like when you're submerged and not detected or whatever, you have like twenty, like an extra twenty percent speed or some garbage. Like, you can do like thirty five knots underwater. Well, a lot of the Royal Navy destroyers won't do thirty five knots. So go figure that one out. Okay, ready up again. Sorry about that. Yeet. All right, all right. Here we go. Let's do this. Ex well, sin. So. You say five to seven. Five to seven was a U-boat, right? Like the type seven seas and stuff. And I think even the nine seas were about eight-ish knots submerged. The American fleet boats could make 10. And if they really pushed it, they could make 11, I think. So, but not 30, right? 35 knots submerged is like nuclear submarine speed, not 1945 submarine speed. Like ridiculous. Yeah, the electric U-boats, the not the 9C. Was it the 20? The 20? The Type 20 to the Type 21 was the all-electric one? Something like that? I can't remember. My U-boat knowledge is a little shaky. The 21. There we go. Okay, so there you go. So, so yeah, so the, the Germans, arguably the world leaders in the technology of submarines, right? Arms race. Ooh. Nice. Arguably the world. I want to get an arms this. race in San Diego, like so bad. <laughs> Arguably I mean, I've been having a lot of fun with it. Initially, Atlanta was like a struggle for me, but like playing San Diego, I was like, oh hell yeah! I like San Diego. I need to play her again tonight if I remember, because the game, the one game I had, like I had a decent result, but the team was kind of garbo. And so we didn't get a chance to really kind of show this, show the ship off a Let's bit. Let's do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna push south. Is, is this Chaser? Oh, even Chaser's like right in front of us. Check it out. All right, Beretta. Well, here, here's first, first rule of playing Buffalo is, um, don't push up stupidly aggressively. Second rule of playing Buffalo is play in open water, right? Because you have to, in my mind, you have to approach Buffalo with the mindset of like you're playing a Hindenburg, right? You've got 12 guns, you have decent maneuverability, you're stealthier than a Hindenburg, but you can be a little soft when someone shoots at you. So like, don't be that guy, right? Good evening, Mr. October. Who was that? Nick with the follow. Thank you much. And Zinger, I think I missed both of those. Appreciate you guys. <laughs> oh, Megs. All right. Now the Adriatico over here is being pretty bold. You see him? Look at this. Look at this Adriatico. That guy's being bold. I love it. The boogeyman is real, and you just found him. Now I'm a hundred percent confident there'll be somebody trailing in front of this this uh, Rossia. There's somebody. Okay, so there's an Awami. You hear me fine? I can. That's better. You sound a little better. Okay. I don't know what the heck was going on with my uh, audio. Yeah, it was It was cutting in and out a bit. Yep. 
I just noticed our destroyer was chaser. Yep, I said something, but you must have missed it. It's the oh, I'm I'm lit. I'm lit. I'm just hoping that I'd rather go smart enough to get that heal. Seriously? I got citadel by the Awami from like Bizarro angle. Yeah, the Awami's guns feel like it's Deadeye all over again, even though that's not the case. Those things are like scary accurate. <laughs> The destroyer is due south of that little island. Yep, there's the torps coming in because I'm still lit from where I am. Gucci, Gucci. Oh, Chaser. Gucci, Gucci. He ate it. <laughs> Those were spotted forever in a lifetime. All right. Adriatico's going to pick up this heal in a minute. That's going to feel okay. Mm -hmm. Personally, that's my main priority in an arms race. Because as long as your team's recovering, the enemy team isn't. Right. There he is. There's the Yugamo, little bastard. I'm gonna need smoke. Ooh. There it is. That's gonna feel a heck of a lot better. Yep, that little steady heal is nice. I especially like it when we get the whole uh, increase as well, because it does compound the heal. Yeah, I haven't been that useful on this flank so far, but I'm trying. I've been soaking up a lot of damage. You're good, Chaser. The, Thankfully, the I've been doing a good bit of it, too. The the trick to remember with pretty much any destroyer when you're maneuvering against torpedoes I like that... I think it's that, the fact that our Malboro, speed. although... Uh, they got a Neptune and a Kitta in mid. I'm going to go over there and try to help out. Is to vary your speed, right? right if you I'll change your speed, the, the ship will improve sure its handling. Us. Yep. You'll improve the ship's handling when you do that, and it makes a difference. Thunder, thank you for the follow. Come on. What is that? Is that a Neptune? Who is that? In Thanks, there? Malbro. You're really great at driving. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Holy crap, I have six second reload on these guns right now. We got all three uh, reload buffs as well. That's sexy. That's Indeed. That's why I really want to get a Harugama onto an arms race, because you don't <laughs> have to crack for that. Right, Neptune in his smoke down here? Yeah, he is. Hold on.
Are they just, like, chilling? What's going on in here? They're just chilling. Oh, Neptune. Oh, Neptune. Oh, Neptune, don't show me that shot, son. I mean, thank you. <laughs> I like how one of our teammates is bitching about you could have picked up the buff and you just get a devastating strike. Well, he's certainly holding his own. I think I'm I think we're doing okay, yeah. Oh, these uh, damn sap guns is about to be atrocious. Just Neptune things, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, he put the Rossi put the fire out, which means now I need to try to lead him about right here to see if I can land fires on him. Come on. There we go. He's in trouble now because he can't put that one out. And now he's got double. He is hosed, ladies and gentlemen. He is hosed indeed. All right, Kid is down. Yugumo is in bad shape. What's over on this other flank that's still around? I got two people looking at me right now. Who is that? Probably these battleships, yeah. Really, you did 22,000 damage through the nose. Okay. Sure, I totally believe that. Mm -hmm. We have a two-ship lead. We have a lot of buffs. We have a good chance of pulling this game out, but it's not for certain yet. Not for certain, ladies and gentlemen. You guys gonna get that Awami finished off? It looks like it. Yep. Sweet. Trying to. Although he might live for a little longer because he's going behind an island, so I can't get him. Yeah. The Malboro Johan's, might get him though. Johan's hydro is down, which means we don't know where the Soyuz is, but chances are he's gonna stop and pick up whatever that buff is. Come around the corner and punch the Johan. Unless the in Malboro the face. dies to an Awami. Ah, he died to an Awami. Oh wow. Wow, can we get a golf clap? I miss golfman already. <laughs> stop exploding, you coward! Yeah, there's a whole lot of, I wish you'd stop exploding. Well, they've caught up on ships, so that feels bad. Yeah, but fortunately enough, uh, we're the ones who hold a good chunk of the buffs. So we yeah, outgun them. But we need to finish that Awami. Like, he, that guy needs to die. I'm going to try and get my gun slipped around, but I don't know if he's just going to hide behind the island and waste my time. I'm going to come back and try to help you out because I want to... Uh, this guy, That guy needs to die because they're going to push in. They're going to push in from the other side of the map. Yeah, we don't need an Awami on our back. Yeah, we don't want a half-alive battleship back here. I what torpedoes does the Awami have? I don't remember. Do you know? Uh, uh, I believe it's... I'm not seeing no way. Oh, no, he's coming. I got him. Yep, I got him. I'm going to help you out. Just don't don't get dead. Oof. Oof. Seriously? Did you ground yourself broadside to an opposing battleship, sir? I was trying to turn I was trying to turn myself around, that's why I was gonna go after him. I didn't realize there was land ho. My poor navigation skills. No. Well Thank That didn't go uh, that, well. That did not go well, no. Alright, I think I can finish him off. Hold on. That ought to get him. Mm, 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 mm. By the time he gets his guns sweet, around, sweet damage. By the time he gets his guns around, he ought to be dead. There we go. Okay. I like big guns and I can't the lead. Lead. 
The absolute good news is that we have board control because we're the ones with the destroyers. They don't. I need to turn around. I'm turning into the game when I need to turn out of the game. And I should be firing HE at this guy because he burns like a bastard. So, let's fire some HE. Oh, are you going to turn all the way around? Well, in that case, I got just the thing for you, sir. Your, a your AP does not frighten me, son. <laughs> uh, Johan's going to eat a torpede. Good, we need that. Oh, he's going to eat another one. He's out. All right, now I can turn back and play the north flank. We are down on HP, but they have to push in, and that is not going to be easy for them. Yep. <clears throat> Although the Malvro might actually get our Jutland here. Although I hope not. Well, you always hope, but with hope in one hand and you know the saying. <laughs> yeah. Now we do have more ships. We just have less overall HP. Our Alaska is like just dead. He needs to just not. He's hiding and, and smart at least. So. Yeah, no, he's he's taking the time to recover. And yeah, honestly... and I'm, I'm trying to get back into this here. What have we got on time? Six and a half minutes? That's enough time for them to kill us. Our Alaska's out of heals. I'm just checking. Doesn't have any left, so he literally needs to hide and heal. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try and sneak in on this buffalo and see if I can wipe him out. Thankfully, it doesn't seem like they're smart enough to grab the heels while they're there. So we might be able to snag one of them. Oh, I'm turning to the Soyuz Savo. This is going to hurt a lot. Yep, called it. Yep. Yep. I needed one of them to not be paying attention. The good news is the Marlboro should go out here to torpedoes. He can't possibly dodge all of those, I don't believe. And I left him on fire, so he may burn out. Boy, I think, I'm gonna, I think he's going to do Yeah, he's going to burn out. He's going to burn or he's going to eat fish. He's dead. Uh, he's going he's gonna to melt. He's healing and melting, but there we go. I'll take it. There it is. The problem is they're capping. And our destroyers are not in the cap. So it's time for the Alaska to grow some balls. Like, you ain't going to win sitting back there, son. I know what you were doing, but it's time to not now. Um, I think he heard I am, you. I hope, I'm, just, I'm pissed that our destroyers are, like, giving them the game. Although, admittedly, the Soyuz is about to discover some pain. There we go. We got some resets, and he's going to take at least two just two torpedoes. You might eat the entire other rack, too. The other rack looks really good. The Alaska is dead, but then here goes the Soyuz is going out right here. Close there game, ladies is. and gentlemen. There so it is. So now, two destroyers on a buffalo, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, my. Ooh, my. This is the best arms race game I've ever played. Honestly, Sam. They need to reset him. Guys, if you want to win, you're going to have to take some risks. Let's do it. Why are you not shooting? There we go. The Jutland's opening fire. As long as the Fletcher knows to keep spotting. There we go. They got the resets. Woo! That was close. Our dingus of a teammate in the chat just typed in the public chat without <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter at this point. Like, we have point lead. We can make sure they Here we don't go. get... Ooh. Now the Flet now the Fletcher's in on it. I love it. I love this. I love everything about this. I think this hero Fletcher has won us the game, ladies and gentlemen. Here come the torpedoes. Na 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 na. That was a nice, solid little team win there. 
I feel bad that I got dev struck, but I kind of saw it coming and I didn't, I had to get back in the range. Buffalo's kind of one major drawback is the range. Either you play reload, reload or you play range. I prefer reload, but the struggle is then that you're fighting against that short range. And sometimes that hurts, that, that screws you over.